नमस्कार हेलो एंड वेलकम अ न्यू केस इन लिनियर प्रोग्रामिंग सॉल्यूशन थ्रू ग्राफिक मेथड एंड द केस इज मिनिमाइज 200x1 प्लस 400x2 सब्जेक्ट टू 1/4x1 प्लस 3/4x2 ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू 100 1/10x1 प्लस 2/10x2 लेस देन और इक्वल टू 35 एंड x1 प्लस x2 ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू 200 that means this is the case with mixed constraints the case is having both the kinds of constraints less than or equal to and greater than or equal to are called cases with mixed constraints more practical cases because it is not at all necessary that in a single linear programming problem only one type of sign should be there not at all yes okay now first of all we have to simplify these two constraints in this constraint 4 is LCM so we multiply both the sides of inequality by 4 and that means 1 fourth into 4 will be 1 that is x1 plus 3 fourth into 4 will be 3 x2 greater than or equal to 100 into 4 400 and in this case we can multiply both the sides of inequality by 10 because 10 is the LCM 1 tenth into 10 1 x1 plus 2 tenth into 10 2 x2 less than or equal to 35 into 10 350. Now we can segregate these two into two parts according to our style equation or equality and inequalities. Okay, let's take equation x1 plus 3 x2 greater than or equal to 400. Okay. The two points x1 x2 if x1 is 0 3 x2 greater sorry 3 x2 equals to 400 so x2 will be 133 and 1 third yes be careful at the time of preparing graph on graph paper we have to take extra care to locate this kind of value or other point for this kind of value if x2 is 0 then x1 is 400 Yes, inequality will be x1 plus 3x2 greater than 400. If x1 takes value 0, then 3x2 greater than 400 will be there. That means x2 greater than 133 and 1 third. If x2 takes value 0, then x1 will be greater than 400. Okay, on the basis of this, we can decide on which side of the line the shaded region showing the inequality part will be there. Okay, equation for this is x1 plus 2x2 equals to 350. The two points to draw the straight line will be if x1 is 0, then 2x2 equals to 350, that means x2 will be 175. If x2 takes value 0, then x1 will be 350. Inequality x1 plus 2x2 less than 350. If x1 takes value 0, then 2x2 less than 350 will be there. So x2 is less than 175 and x1 is 0. And if x2 takes value 0, then x1 will be less than 350. And the last one, again the sign of greater than equation is x1 plus x2 equals to 200. The two points will be 200 and 200. If x1 is 0, x2 is 200. If x2 is 0, x1 is 200. Inequality will be x1 plus x2 greater than 200. If x1 takes value 0, then x2 greater than 200 and if x2 takes value 0 then x1 will be greater than 200 okay yeah there are two small extraordinary points one the values are quite larger we have to adjust the scale according to the largeness of the values uh, all these 5 except these are multiples of 25 
So we can take the scale of 1 cm equals to 25 units on both the axes. This is not multiple of 25. So we have to be very much careful at the time of locating this point on x2 axis. Okay, so just we are going to take scale of 1 cm equals to 25 units on both the axes. 400 divided by 25, we need 16 plus a few centimeters on x x1 axis <laughs> and on x2 axis we need 200 divided by 25 8 centimeter or something more than 8 centimeters and accordingly I need more space so I am going to rub all this so please write this carefully on your graph book Scale of 1 cm equals to 25 units. Yes, mixed constraint. At the time of uh, solving the problem having mixed constraints, less than or equal to and greater than or equal to in the same problem, we have to take extra care while deciding on which side of the straight line the shaded region should appear. Because we are habituated to handle only one kind of sign in a single sum. Okay. This is our x2 axis. Yes, as usual, I repeat, I am just going to draw only a sketch. Instead of sketch, it should be called a rough work only. No accuracy is possible. So, please draw graph very accurately yes I am just going to show the overall look of the graph nothing more than that is possible 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 that means 25 50 75 100 125 150 175 200 225, 250, 275, 300, 325, 350, 375 and 400 largest value on x1 axis. On x2 axis 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175 and 200. Now let's take the first other constraint. Okay, on the first constraint, x1 takes value 400 and x2 takes 133 and one third above 125. Yes, be careful. Take the exact point of the value 133 and one third. Then draw a straight line using I advise I always advise to use a ruler or scale of 12 inches never use scale of 6 inches to draw graph never 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 yeah okay this kind of straight line will be there on your graph sheet yeah and this is the straight line of the equation x1 plus 3x2 equals to 400 yeah, in that case, x1 is greater than 400. So, beyond 400. x2 greater than 133 and 130. This is the inequality part. So, shaded, shaded region will be above the line. Yes? Okay, now next one is x1 350 and x2 175. Yes. Something like that, I mean this, a straight line on your graph sheet should be there and this is the line of equation x1 plus 2, x2 equals to 350. In this case, less than sign is there, x1 less than 350, so below the line or towards zero, the region of the inequality 
should be there and here it is less than x2 less than 175 yes and the last both take value 200 something like this the straight line should be there on your graph paper x1 plus x2 equals to 200 okay now again greater than sign is there in case of inequality x1 greater than 200 greater than 200 means outer side x2 greater than 200 outer side so see because of the difference in sign of constraint the part of inequality is either below the line or above the line in different cases and the most important thing is that there are so many closed areas it is not at all necessary that this area always become feasible region not at all that depends upon the shading of inequality part of all the constraints in this case shading will be on outer side yes in this case shading will be below the line and in this case shading will be above the line so this area becomes the common region of all the three constraints see this is the reason I cover this problem here for discussion and explanation yes so this is the feasible region the common region of all the constraints on a graph paper is the feasible region and according to the fundamental law of linear programming the optimal solution lies at corner point of the feasible region okay so there are three corner points only a at a on your graph paper the coordinates will be 100 and 100 at B there will be 50 and 150 at C there will be 250 and 50 this is just sketch rough work only a representative image of the graph paper on your graph paper the exact graph will be there it should be there now let's check what happens with the objective function corner point or vertex or three corner points are there so vertices but I am rather I prefer to use easy most easy yes easiest possible term when I explain the cases coordinates that means values of x1 and x2 at the point and value of objective function that means z equals to 200 x1 plus 400 x2 yes point a value of x1 100 value of x2 also 100 ok 200 into x1 means 100 plus 400 into x1 means 100 so it is 20,000 plus 40,000 that is 60,000 b 50 x1 and 150 x 2 so it will be 200 into 50 plus 400 into 150 so it will be 20,000 plus 60,000 that means 70,000 and C 250 and 50 200 into 250 plus 400 into 50 so it will be 50,000 plus 20,000 that is 70,000 ok be careful check which one is the Objective maximization or minimization in this case it is minimization objective of minimization. So minimum value of objective function is at corner point A vertex A 
and the coordinates are 100 and 100. Minimization. So we have to select minimum value. Yes. Mind well, this is not the example of our error, linear programming problem having multiple optimal solutions. No. This example can be the example having multiple optimal solution only if the objective is maximization. But at present the objective is minimization so this is not at all the example with multiple optimal solutions. The optimal solution is x1 equals to 100, x2 equals to 100 and minimum z is 60,000. The solution lies at corner point or vertex A of the feasible region. Yes? So don't confuse yourself that this is example having multiple optimal solutions. No, not at all. Because this is at present a problem having objective of minimization. Yes, same problem. A paper setter can ask the same problem as a maximization case. Then till preparing this table there will be no change in the solution just in the last stage we have to select the vertices giving highest value of the objective function then only this can be treated as example having multiple optimal solutions that's it thank you very much